Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've not subscribed already, make sure you push that button. Um, this video today is gonna be all about a fuel gauge for your boat. If you've got a plastic tank looking like that, kind of, um, what do they call this? Just a, a portable gas tank, whatever it's called. Anyway, it's, um, it's, oh, sorry, just dropped down. It's um, it's old. The actual, the actual screw top for this, the where you put the the petrol in the gas. It's actually got. Let me unscrew it for you. It's one of these. You know, it's no good. It's kind of, it's all corroded and the top part's all smashed. Don't think it works anymore. So we're going to get a new petrol cap. Um, but in the meantime, might not have to actually just keep that on there. I can't see that little bit, you know, the bit that actually you undo it to let the let it breathe. Very odd. Anyway, that's probably another video. Um, anyway, sorry, today's back to back to what we're chatting about. This is a sender. This is sorry, the float. Um, I'm not sure what the technical term is, but this <coughs> I'll link it below. This is basically a gasket that comes with it. Um, I shall show you the the gauge, the fuel gauge, which is um that's what we're going to put near the front kind of console near the steering wheel with your other gauges <coughs> nice little unit quite neat um it's got a little o-ring there so that when you pop it in it kind of creates a, a watertight seal um it comes with some wires so one wire is going to go to the battery one's going to go to an earth there'll be a sender wire and there'll probably be a um an on off like a a switch wire just in case you want to wire it to like a an on off switch maybe something like that anyway that'll be another video when i'm installing that part to the front part of the well the console the boat console anyway this device here this little float uh sender thing reader this needs to go on the tank obviously and we need to start drilling some holes now choose an area on your tank that's not got too much writing there's not an actual area where it's perfect you need to look for like a flat completely flat so that you get the best seal for your gasket mine doesn't have that so we're going to actually sand like the lettering down as you can see i've drawn around it so i know the area that i'm going to be sanding is going to be all around here yeah you can use a flat pad, pad a flat paddle disc on your grinder uh but don't go too crazy with that. You don't want to take too much off. You just need to make a flat surface. Or you can maybe use, you know, normal standard kind of orbital sander. Anything you've got really. Maybe an 80 grit pad will do. Uh, and then, yeah, once that's nice and flat, um, you need to start drilling holes. But we'll get to that part in a minute. Let's just do the, um, just get the sanding out of the way. Right. I just had a thought, if you've got any fuel in that tank, you need to get rid of that now because you don't really want to start contaminating it with bits of plastic. So I'm just going to pour, I've probably got about a third of a tank, maybe a quarter of a tank that needs to just go into a, a different fuel tank for now, just to, um, it's old um, fuel anyway, so I'll just probably use it for the lawnmower or something. But make sure you empty your tank out and um, we'll probably use some of that petrol. Actually, yeah, leave maybe, leave a tiny bit in there because you can use that to swish around and... Um, oh, Dropped you again. You can use that to swish around and clean the tank essentially um, once you've done the sanding part or actually at the end once, yeah, because you're doing drilling as well. So, yeah, anyway, we'll come to that.
Right, yeah, that's perfect. Don't need to go too mad, as long as you can't really. You might be able to see the writing still, but when you run your finger over it, it's nice and smooth. Right, let's get the, um, we'll get that cleaned up and then I'm gonna draw the circle again. Mark out the, sorry, mark out the, the bits where I need to drill. And yeah, like I said, I've left a tiny bit of petrol in here so that when I'm drilling through, the little, the burr from the plastic burr, that'll fall down. I can, you know, I can make sure that I can catch it all and swish it out and then pour it out and repeat that cycle a couple of times just to make sure there's nothing in there. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get this done. Let's, um, oh. So there we go. That's, um, it's all ready to, to drill now. So what we, what I've actually noticed is they give you these, they give you these bolts, but they don't give you a nut for it. So either you can find a nut and try and struggle to get it on. Um, well, if you're going to, if you're going to find a nut, the way I do it is you need to drill your big hole for the float to fit through. And then I would poke your finger through and find a hole, get these poking up like this, and then maybe put some kind of glue on the bottom of that so it kind of sits up. Um, and then do that on all of them. Then get your, your rubber gasket, put it over. And then you're gonna get your Oh, we're going to put that through like that. And then obviously try to get all the, the bolts poking through and then you can put a nut on top and you can do it up that way. The other way to do it is if you can find a drill bit that's basically the size down from this, you will then be able to screw all of these individually down through this way i'm pretty sure that's probably what they've done with that you know like that's probably a self tapper but that would be fine and if it's not fine and it fails or it comes loose you can do it the other way that i've recommended but for this yeah for this this video i'm gonna just go straight in but like i said you've got to be very careful you've got to make sure that these holes are drilled with a smaller drill bit than the diameter of that which is fine we can test it anyway no we're not we're not going to test it we're just going to find one and it's going to be literally the first time it goes in will be the, the tightest but i'm sure that's going to be absolutely fine to be honest with you because you can have five of them um mm. saying that there might be quite a lot of pressure um and it's fuel, so the last thing you want is a major spill when you're out at sea, when you're going over waves, you know, and this is jumping up and down in the back. Yeah, potentially talk myself into doing it the other way around, where you find some nuts and do it from the inside up. And yeah, that's going to be, peace. you're going to get peace of mind if you do it that way. Um, I might try and find a plastic, yeah, I'm going to find... A bit of plastic I can actually drill into and screw this through it and then see how tight that holds. Also, another thing to do would be actually put some silicon around here as well. So then you'd be sticking that on, then another load, and then you stick. Yeah, that will be stuck to it as well. So adhesive, kind of silicon adhesive and these screws screwing in would probably be a good shout to be honest with you oh okay oh that's interesting so there's air coming through that i was a bit worried that this needed to you know have a little twisty thing to let the air through okay anyway sorry back to this oh Okay, I'm going to have to have a bit of a think, actually, see... No, what I was going to do is um, I'll do a practice piece and see how tight this actually goes through a plastic... Um, practice piece of plastic, okay? 
Right, you see I've just drilled it into this bucket and this bucket, the plastic is not as strong as the actual fuel tank. So just gonna unscrew that. Actually, no, I'll just show you. So I'm pushing with my finger, but that's the other side. I'm pushing, that's not going anywhere. I'm literally putting loads of force on that, wiggling it around. Ugh. That's going absolutely nowhere. And you're gonna have five on there. You're gonna have five on there, so yeah, just make that that makes complete sense. Yeah, that's just not going anywhere. That putting loads of force on now really um that's there you go, I got it out. Um Yeah. Didn't exactly fall out and you're gonna have five of them, so and at no point you're going to be trying to wriggle it that hard to get it out. So let's go with that. I'm actually confident that's going to be really tight. Really tight. As you can see as well, these are a good guide for, for what drill bit to use. If you can find a drill bit that fits inside these, that is your, that's your go-to. That's what you should be using because these are a tiny bit smaller than this. Right, okay. So I found a four and a half drill bit. See that? Just goes in there perfectly. So anyway, I've just drilled a hole in my test plastic thing. Next to the other one, you can see it is a bit smaller. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw this in. Another thing is you don't wanna crack the plastic either. Okay, this is difficult one-handed. I'm just twisting that in one, like, it's not. Going in. Hang on, I need I need two hands for this, sorry. Right, here we go. It's gone in without too much force, but I'm just gonna show you. So that's gone into about I could I'm not gonna put it all the way in because I want to show you how tough it is when I'm trying to pull it out now. Yeah, there's no chance I'm getting that out. No chance at all. It's absolutely perfect. That's absolutely solid. Yeah. Even pushing from that side, that's not going anywhere. Cool, well that makes life a lot easier. Let's do that. There we go then. That's all the holes drilled. Now I need to do the big hole. Should have probably done the big hole first because as I'm pushing down, I don't want to split the plastic. And also, mm, it's going to be a bit tricky. I haven't got a drill bit that's going to be the same size as this float. I'll tell you that now. Well, I've got a forcing a bit, forcing a bit that should, well, yeah, it's definitely going to be the right size for it, but a forcing a bit is a struggle to um, punch through and keep it in the same, you know, without it, you know, migrating that way or that way whilst you're trying to drill with a hand drill. Hmm. Tell you what, actually, I do have, yeah, I'm not going to use a forcing a drill, but I'm going to use, oh, where is it? No idea what these are called, but it's not. I'm not going to be using this one. It'll be a smaller one, but it gives you a guide. I know this one's snapped off, but you'll get a drill bit that kind of punches the hole and it keeps it centralised. Right, okay. Got to find those bits now. Oh, I think the plastic thing's fallen in, but well, that's absolutely fine. No, nope, there she is. Whoa. As you can see, that plastic is pretty thick. So... Right, sorry about that. My camera just died, so I just had to go and get my old phone. Um, luckily, I've kept it because you never know. <laughs> so, yeah, I've kind of not jumped ahead. I've just kind of lined this up, made sure the float went through. It's perfect, that hole. I think that's 3.5 centimetres. Not too sure what that is in inches. But, yeah, what we need to do now is pop that in there. And obviously got the gasket. And then we've got the first screw ready to line up with the hole. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this do, doing this up tight to start with. Once you've got all of them in and they are, I'd say, halfway down, halfway threaded halfway down, I would then kind of go one by one until you get to the point where it's starting to pinch. And then I think, you know, do opposite. So if you do that one fully, then do that one next. And then that, that one, then that one, then... Yeah, I mean, I don't have to explain that too much. Just, just go easy with this because, you know, these rubber, these rubber gaskets. 
there's only actually one there was only one way it fit where it aligned with all the holes so you might have to have a little play around with that again no biggie it's just obviously when they drilled the holes potentially they were a few millimeter out or whatever anyway you never know what you're going to get when you get these um white box kind of products off of amazon anyway let's get this um let's get this first one tapped in and then I shall report back once uh, all five of them are kind of, I'd say, halfway down. Just to let you know if I've come across any issues or anything. Right, came across a bit of a problem, as I kind of was a little bit worried about. Got three screws in. They aligned up nicely, but you see that one. I, you might not be able to see that, but you can see the holes like this side rather than, you know, right in the centre. And this one, you can't even see the hole. <laughs> okay, so not, not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I'm just going to drill a hole there, hole there with the smaller sized um, drill bit. Uh, might actually go down to, what did I say? 4.5. Let's go down to a 4 so that it gets a bit more bite once it goes in on these two. Um, yeah, if I could do this again, I would, oh, yeah, I would, I'd do it the opposite way I've, why I've done it. I just put the float in, get the float down, get this sat on the plastic on the top, then do your drilling. Don't go by that rubber guide, the rubber gasket. Do not use that as a guide to drill your holes. Lesson learned, but I mean, just these, just with these three on, it's absolutely rock solid. It's um, made a lovely seal already, but we'll get these last ones on. Like I said, I'm gonna just drill with a smaller drill bit, probably a four, and then get these set in. Nice. Right, there we go, boys. It's all nice and secure now. Just going to give it a shake and get any of the burr, all the plastic burr that's gone through to the inside. Let's get all of that out next. Um, I don't think I need to video that, to be honest with you. Um, I'll probably end the video there, actually. I mean, the electrical side of it. I'll probably do a video to show you how to set that up. But for, yeah, for now, I think it's just, it's quite important just to get, understand how to get a nice, secure, flush seal. Um, anyway, guys, I'm waffling on, so let's end the video there. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, loads of fishing videos coming up. Loads of um, small little DIY boat kind of jobs, uh, style videos um, coming up also. So yeah, thanks um, for watching and I'll see you on, on the next one. Cheers.